It's easy to point fingers. For Palestinians to point to the displacement brought about by Israel's founding, and for Israelis to point to the constant hostility and attacks throughout its history. But if we see this conflict only from one side or the other, then we will be blind to the truth. Yeah, this is the cross. It's double cross. Like when Jesus, like, <laughs> said, the cross, like, it's like a Jesus cross. Exactly. I mean, the main message of the film, I would say, is trying to highlight the Palestinian problem, try to look at it in a different light. You hear about it in the news all the time, killing, blah, blah, etc. People dying here, people killing each other here, a bomb goes off there. But what I was trying to do is do in a simple story from a child's point of view, which is a bit different and have sympathy so with it. And so people, when they see it, anyone can see it. They don't have to connect with the Palestinian story. They can connect with a homeless person or they can connect with a child. Me and Rob, we've been like work together for many kind of projects, lots of projects, and we work well together. But I mean, the first time we worked together was I think uh, 94, 94, it? 17, 94, 17 years ago, it's like a married couple. Yeah. Do you remember Satan, Khalil? It is he you threw the door open for. It is he you bid enter and welcome. Uh, we have a heart. Sorry. And I met him as an actor, and uh, we did well together, I think, the first thing we done. The most important thing is yeah, that we worked well together. We don't, both kind of, our egos don't, don't clash, and you know, it, each one does its job. We're, I mean, you're creative for the film, I'm creative artistically, and the two of us have a viewpoint right. that I think is worth mentioning, and hearing how the other person's view comes into that, and we listen to each other and somewhere down the line we get the perfect product. Sure. Well, not, I won't call it the perfect product, but we've got a product. <laughs> <laughs> but we work well together, that's what's good. <laughs> the feeling that I am acting as a Palestinian guy, I mean, this is a Palestinian... I've got a Palestinian daughter, which, who was actually a Palestinian uh, girl from Gaza, which really, I really felt, you know, honoured and beautiful. It was a wonderful, beautiful feeling, you know, uh, being in, in, in their shoes uh, and acting for Palestinian people. Being an actor as well as producing, it's, it's actually a lot to take on. Uh, but I felt strongly about the story when Walid pitched the idea to me, that this was a story that potentially at that time was very powerful and I felt that it was worth the additional bit of effort that was worth putting into it. Um, so. You know, I jumped at the chance when I heard the idea. Uh, and I thought, well, if, if I'm going to produce something, I want it to be something good. Uh, and, you know, I think that look, well, looking at the finished product, I think it's really, really good. I think it's probably the most powerful thing that uh, we've been involved in so far. So you look at him, and then you do it, and then you do Yeah? Is that right? First the hand, and then points, and then you lay it. Yeah. Okay. I look at her eyes then. Yeah. yeah. Then at her hand, yeah. yeah. 
do it like from here as if you're walking. Basim's family comes from Palestine and he has uh, two children, one of a six year old, which was right in the, in the ballpark of the age group that we were looking for. So uh, Walid and I went to the meeting uh, and Catherine was playing with our brother and uh, Karina in the uh, playground and we just looked at each other and we thought, perfect for the park. And Wasim was happy that Catherine could, could play in that. So it was, I felt risky at first uh, to go with six and a half year old girl because, you know, it turned up okay. But oh, she's fantastic. It's like she's a natural. But we did have some problems. <laughs> <laughs> like one day she turned up on the set after half an hour she said, I have to go now. <laughs> we had a, a long day shoot and oh God, I was going to do yeah. something here. Very good. Joe's going to stay. <laughs> after one shot, do you want a break? No. You just arrived, girl. I thought she's a diva. No, I had three tries. Yeah, three tries. <laughs> got a lot of tries to do today. Uh, we'll have a break after when I come back, okay? Yeah, when you come back. Okay. Yeah. That was the big day. <laughs> but I mean, that that is. I mean, I've I've made a couple of films now with my own daughter, and working with a young child, you need to have these breaks. It's it's a way of keeping the the, the interest up. It doesn't help um, a professional crew when you you need to do some things in a certain order, and you have to change the camera shots to to accommodate that. But it was a difficult shoot that day. But uh, yeah, I, I think it's just paid off. Upside down, upside down. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mm. It's not good. You're not good at writing You do upside down writing, you're mad. Upside down. Upside you're mad. Everybody's mad. Everybody's mad. <laughs> but it was amazing, like, how natural she was in front of the camera. I mean, she was, I was really impressed with that. I mean, we didn't do a lot of rehearsals, which is. We tend to do a lot of rehearsals, I tend to do a lot of rehearsals. Um, I would not go on a shoot if I don't have everything kind of sorted. And this film, we went a bit different. Yeah. I just, because there wasn't many words in it. Uh, I think we've done one, an hour and a half rehearsal, that's it. One of the most powerful um, shots that we've got uh, was totally unscripted. We went to the Edinburgh Festival. There's a lot of festival acts on. Uh, there's a lot of colour and excitement going on. And we just had Aidan walk around with Catherine. And you see in, in the film Catherine's just just mingling in with the, the hordes of crowds and people that are there watching the shows. And I think all the talking that she actually does in the film, it's all natural. And there's one bit where uh, this person says to her, um, what's that? It's the flag. She goes, I come from there. The person goes, you're, you're Palestinian? Yes. And it's just perfect little shot. I love this video. Huh? I come from there. You're a Palestinian. And actually, I didn't, know, I didn't think they knew I was, I was hiding. I was hiding with the camera behind. So actually, they, no one knew I was filming. Most of the shots were taken that day were like the actors didn't know I was filming. I was hiding. Yeah. So it looks totally natural. Uh, that's really good. Those okay, people look at the camera. Why do you need okay. glasses? You said you. Don't worry, we'll so do that. So why you don't need glasses in other times? I can see for a car, but. She's some <laughs> girl. <laughs> the the whole thing about Catherine, even when she knew the camera was right. on her, she never looked at it, and it's it's actually for a six year old kid to do that. It's absolutely amazing. Like, don't look at the camera. Okay, I won't. Okay. Um, camera speed, camera. Okay, board please. Speed. 4.8 B, take two. Action. Cut. Fantastic. I certainly feel that the fact that she was Palestinian, I was really pushing it to believe that this is really good. I mean, she looks, she looks beautiful, this little kid. Really innocent. You know, I th going with the boy, you you probably don't have the same kind of innocence as a little girl. And I felt that getting a six-year-old girl, it's a, it, it's a chance that it may not work because she is so young. But the face fitted, her mannerisms when she was playing were just really natural, and I felt, you know, I, I think we should take the gamble, which I think's paid off. Like this. Like. Is it on me? 
Yes, yeah. <laughs> Go like that with your hand just to see if, it's, if it does anything your hand turn. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I meant to say you're doing yeah, it. Yeah, 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 do it with the button, it's just like, yeah, like that. yeah, that's it, you see it? No, you know, sure, the rub's going to do it, but for me, just to see now. Can you just go with your hand like that? Like that? <laughs> yeah, okay, so, okay, yeah, see, right. Yeah. SFX, Sean. See, so that's much as that. It's, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like fine. showing a movie like that. Okay, but they still hold the key to the house they owned and the deeds to their land, determined that the new generation will not give up hope of return. And there's a lot of parts of the film as well which I like as well. I mean, some of it came as a surprise and some of it was planned. Like that one was definitely planned shot, 100% planned shot. Uh, the surprise was Rob performance at the end, which is, I think, really good. It was planned. Uh, I don't know if I should take that as a compliment. No, 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 no <laughs> I'm I mean, surprised no, Rob acted so no, good. No, 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 no. I don't mean it that way. I don't mean it that way. I mean it's like uh, the way it worked, you know? Uh, because I think sometimes making film has its own magic. You plan things, but things, some things has its own magic. And uh, I think that moment, some moments in the film, I think, works that way. Not because they were planned. Although they were planned, but something happened that day that made it that way. Well, apart yeah. from me, uh, yeah, no, no. I think it's well. You're great, man. He's yeah. fantastic. That shot down the flag is so good, yeah? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Well, if you're uh, happy. It's the smoothest film set I've ever seen. Or, you know, you're one of your yeah. film sets. I, I what, are they usually chaotic? No, they're well, usually alright. Well, well, just for everything went fine, eh? But then, C Catherine's really good. Fantastic, she's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. She's, she's, she's so natural. Yeah, she's good. She I like, miss her. When we saw Aidan on, on the camera, and because Aidan hadn't acted before. Uh, he was part of a, of a musical band and he's, he's familiar with an audience. Uh, made him a bit more easier to, to work with when there's people around. But he'd never actually been filmed before or asked to do acting. So uh, when we done this screen test and we went through a couple of shots with him, he was actually quite easy to mould. It was like you were filling him with information and he didn't have... Actors come with a lot of baggage sometimes and they want to put their own portrayal into things and you kind of have to fight the ego of the actor sometimes. You'll probably <laughs> totally agree with that. But um, Aidan was like, it was just an empty cup. He just filled with information and he just drank it. You know, it was, and what he, what he came out with at the end of the day was something really natural. Farah! There were some happy accidents yeah. as well. Um, we had a up in Edinburgh Festival, must have been like four or five hundred people in our little area. Uh, and we'd done a wide shot. And Aidan and Catherine were just to walk towards us. And just at the right moment, everybody just parted. And you got like 60, 70 people in that one area just emptied and just left them walking towards us. And it's a nice intro shot to the festival because you, you can't see them between all the people and then suddenly, there they are. They've, and it looks like you've just told 80, 90 people just, just to, could you just please walk away from them? I mean, that was fantastic, happy accident, that one. Yeah.